parenchymal patterns in breast imaging. So when you look at a mammogram, what is the first thing that catches your eye? The first thing which you notice about a mammogram is the density of the breast. Mammographic density is considered as a risk factor for breast CA, which means denser the breast, more is the risk of breast cancer. Pattern recognition of the parenchyma in breast imaging is a very important tool which increases the mammographic screening sensitivity. Women who are in the high risk category, that means who have denser breasts, either need additional views or they are advised to undergo frequent screening mammograms. So the first ever qualitative classification of mammographic density patterns was described by Wolf in 1976. He basically divided the breast into four categories depending upon four parenchymal patterns N1, P1, P2 and DY. N1 category had breasts which consisted mainly of fat which is normal breast tissue. P1 pattern included fat as well as linear densities which represented enlarged ducts occupying less than 25% of the breast. P2 pattern included linear densities occupying more than 25% of the breast which usually appear prominent in the upper outer quadrant but could be distributed throughout the breast. DY included dense radio opaque breast which was a high risk pattern. Later on, over the years, the BIRAT system was developed and proposed by the American College of Radiology, which is used worldwide in clinical radiology. It is a modification of the Wolf's classification and it has four main categories. Type A includes breasts which are almost entirely fatty. Type B includes breast tissue which has scattered areas of fibroglandular density. Type C includes breasts which are heterogeneously dense which may obscure small muscles and type D includes breasts which are extremely dense which lowers the sensitivity of the mammogram.